hello welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're coming to my channel you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back today we are making this beautiful dress with shoulder flounce and a sweetheart neckline and it has the splitting at the skirt area as well if you look very well so for the skirt part we we'll work with slash and spread method and then you can see the flounce and everything looking so nice for the back i did a lacing so here is the one i made for myself in this picture so this is what we'll be seeing in this tutorial if this is something you love to learn stick back hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell you'll be the first to be notified whenever i post my videos so here is my pattern previously i've Cut, drafted this out in my previous video so I just went ahead to cut it on my fabrics here I attach an este and uh, wording to it this is the center front and this is the side front so what I'll be doing next is I'll be holding the center front and side front together just like this I'm going to be placing the side front on both sides of and attach it with my machine to the center front basically I'll stitch through this way you can also see that I've added the este and wording to my sign front as well for me to get the bustier okay so I'm going to be pinning this down I mean the side front to the center front I'll pin this down hold it with my pin just like you see me do so after seeing this with my pin i mean the side front to the center front i'm going to just open it up so you can see what it looks like basically i'll take this machine and stitch this way okay after stitching let's assume i'm done with stitching this is what it's going to look like so i'll just do this for the other side as well take it to my machine and stitch this is the back area i've gone ahead to cut the yoke and the fabrics okay so for the yoke i work with a lace material and for the fabrics i'm using the ankara material which i'm using to make this dress so this is it so I'm, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting out my lining just the way I cut out the fabrics. Okay, so please do well to see my tutorial on the pattern drafting. Alright, for the back there is an opening at the center back. So that is the curve you see right there. I'll be closing that curve with, I mean I'll be holding curve with my bias to give it a neat finishing. So here, this is the skirt part of the dress. I've cut out the skirt and the lining. I have a tutorial on how to draft a straight skirt on this uh, channel so you can do well to check that out. I just cut out a straight skirt for this. I didn't do that pleating on the skirt. This is because my fabrics is not enough. So this is me at my machine area. I've gone ahead to pipe the center back. That shape I said is there and the neck area with bias and now I want to hold the lining and lace together okay so this is basically what i did to the front part this is the bustier i've gone ahead to stitch the side to the center front and i've ironed it out and it's already looking nice and beautiful okay so this is the wrong side you can see what it looks like and this is the front part okay, i'll set this aside now and show you what my back piece looks like so this is the two pieces for the back As you can see, I've piped one side with bias, which is the one that is looking very neat. Why the other one, I'm yet to hold it down with bias. This is just to show you the difference. So I'm going to take this back to my machine and hold this other side with bias as well. Next, I'm going to be adding the skirt part of the back piece to the upper part. So this is the skirt part. I'll just take it to my machine, hold the skirt part to the upper part, join the two pieces together so after joining the two piece this is what it looks like as you can see this is what it looks like this is the back area i told you it has that opening at the center back and there's going to be a lace in there so my zip is going to start from uh my waist measurement down to my hip area 
So I'll set this aside and work on the front piece. So for the front piece, you see that lacing at the front area. We are going to be attaching it now. So to do that, I'm holding down all my pattern, which I drafted in my previous video with my tape. And I'm going to be using it to cut out a lace. This is because the lace, if you watch the picture very well closely, you see that the lace covers all the way to the bust area. All right. So now I'm going to use this, my pattern to cut out the lace for the front piece that is the yoke for the front piece okay so this that's what you see me do now cutting it out with my scissors you notice that the shoulder area I cut is longer that's because I'm adding one inch for holding the shoulder okay you can add half of an inch it all depends now i'm yet to i'm will not be cutting the neck area now okay i'll be doing that later so i'm going to be placing this net on this front piece so this is what it looks like after placing and pinning it down next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up a fresh fabric like pieces of fabrics that i have and i'm going to pleat it on this net i'm so sorry i didn't know that i don't know how i managed not to record the part where i was pleating i was like trying so hard to record it i didn't know that i didn't uh, get the recording it was when i was editing the video that i realized it was not there i'm very sorry this is the fabrics i'm working with so this fabrics now i'm going to just pleat it onto the net area in such a way that the net is showing only at one side of the bust while the other side is covered uh, with this fabric. So I'll just pleat it and show you. I'm going to be showing you what it looks like after the pleating, okay? So this is it when I was done pleating as you can see one side the net is showing the other side it's covered with the pleated fabric so this is it i've gone ahead to pin everything down so all i need to just do is stitch this down at the sides so that it's firm on the whole piece becomes one piece before removing all my pins that I used in uh, joining and pleating, okay? Before um, I go to my machine, I'm going to be cutting the neck area. So if you take a look at that picture very well, you see that the neck area has is very high like a turtle neck, but I don't want mine to be that high. So I'm going to bring it low. I came down by 2 inches for the neck depth and I cut it out. So you can see I'm going to be piping that neck area with my bias. Now this is the skirt part for the front. I'm going to be attaching the skirt part to the upper part. Before going to my machine, I'll be cutting out all the excesses. These excesses are from the lace which I attach and the fabrics which I use to do my pleating. Please be careful not to cut uh, your main, like that bustier area we did initially. Okay, so I'm just cutting out the excess from the fabrics I attach and the excess from the lace which I placed. Okay. So after cutting all the excesses, I'll just take this to my machine and attach the skirt part to the upper part of the front for this dress. So here I'm done attaching the skirt to the upper part. You can see what it looks like. Now,
next thing I'll be doing is to uh, hold the shoulder. You can see that it's just a straight long dress. So here I went ahead to place the back piece on the front piece. I held down the shoulder and I held down the sides. Okay. So here it is. I'm going to be holding the shoulder and hold all the sides. So after that, this is what it looks like. You can see the shoulder, you can see the side. I took my body measurement and just hitched all the way down. Next thing, I flipped it to the right side and this is what it looks like. Next, I'll be uh, attaching my sleeves to it. So for this dress, there is a long sleeve and there is a short sleeve. So for the part where we have the net showing on the bust, there is a long sleeve there. While the other part that carries the flounce has a short sleeve. So I'll just attach the long and short sleeve in the right proportion where it's supposed to be, okay? So here I made a mistake with the placement, but when sewing, I corrected it. This side is supposed to take in the long sleeve, while the other side should take the short sleeve. So now I'm done stitching, I'm done attaching the flounce to it. I actually stitched this flounce all the way to the back. You can see the area where we have the flounce is where we have a short sleeve. So I'm going to be showing you how I actually cut out this flounce. What I did is, I, from where I want the flounce to start, I measured all the way to the back where I want the flounce to stop. So I took like 2 inches away from uh, where I'll be inputting the holes for my lacing. I mean the holes, the hole where my lacing will be. I measured 2 inches away. Then after that 2 inches, I started measuring all the way to the front area where i want the flounce to stop after measuring i have 24 i went ahead to add 10 inches to it this is because i wanted to pleat the uh, flounce well i wanted it to be very full so that i can pleat it onto where i want it to be okay so here is the paper i'll be using to uh, uh, explain how i cut the flounce if you're working with a fabric fold your fabric into two equal halves for me, I'm working with this paper and I don't have enough paper, so I'll just work with it this way. I'll determine the middle of this paper, measure whatever I have there and determine the middle, the midpoint of my paper. Make a dot there, then I'll just rule a vertical and horizontal line across it. Afterwards, I'll be taking a measurement like you can start with 1.5 you can start with 2 inches it all depends so for me i'm starting with 1.5 inch so i'm marking 1.5 inch on across the horizontal and the vertical line next i'm going to be connecting all the points to get like a circle was from one point any end you like just come out by mark two inches okay like increase the measurements from your initial circle so i'm marking two inches then i'm going to connect as well just like i did for the previous one next we are going to increase our measurements again okay so from this part just take a look closely before we continue let me just stroke out those lines very well so we know the lines we are working with okay so there it is from this point i'm going to go out by four inches so i'll go ahead and mark four inches there come to this other line mark four inches as well and now connect 
this means how the more we go the more our flanks get wider I'll increase my measurement again by one inch so I mark five inches there and I'm going to mark five inches here as well next I'll connect 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 so my paper is almost finished uh, I'll take the last measurement so I went ahead to mark seven there and I'm connecting as well now i'm just going to use my tape to measure from the center all the way around to ensure that what i have is enough you know initially i measured 24 inches for where i want my flounce to sit on my dress and i added 10 inches to it making 34 so i'm going to measure to see if this is actually up to 34 inches So as I'm measuring, I realize it's even more than 34 inches. And this is okay for me because I'm actually pleating it. Like I want to pleat it onto uh, my dress. If you don't want it to be this long, you can just go ahead and cut it to the point you want it to be, okay? So remember, if you're cutting this on the fabrics, fold your fabrics into two, okay? Fabrics, you can you go, go ahead and work channel, with please it. Click on the use the fabrics button. as a line like as well. Video, but for me, I have to use bell, a satin to turn the fabric because I don't I have enough video. fabrics. Okay. All right. So as I'm after I'm done cutting this, so this is what cutting, it looks cutting, like. You can cutting, see our flounce bouncing. <laughs> so if you cut this on your fabrics, it's also going to be bouncing right, this so way. I'm done. And remember, fold your fabrics into two before cutting this. So, so if, if you're yet dress, to you click on the subscribe it. button up and now, click on the subscribe button, okay? Like paper, and share so my videos. Look exactly and I would like really appreciate it if you drop All right, a so comment, if you have enough fabrics, okay? You I'm can going use the to reply for your all comments you at the comment section. So please like, drop a comment. So this is what the final look of our dress looks like. You can see the flowers and everything. It's looking nice and beautiful and if you so watch closely the at the beginning of this video this you see where i was putting on the dress, dress. yeah thank you so watching. much see you in my for next watching. video bye i hope to see you in my next video don't forget to drop a comment i promise to reply all comments at the comment section okay? thank you for watching again remember to subscribe give it a thumbs up and don't stop trying now